Does absolute truth exist? And is it worth seeking? Can this seeking lead to a knowledge that has a timeless quality? The classical educator must answer yes to these questions. However, the father of the most prevalent thinking of our time answered no. Quote, in some remote corner of the universe, poured out and glittering in innumerable solar systems, there once was a star on which clever animals invented knowledge. That was the highest and most mendacious minute of world history, yet only a minute. After nature had drawn a few breaths, the star grew cold and the clever animals had to die. That answer, Nietzsche's answer, seems to stand in stark contrast to the goals of classical education. And yet we often hear echoes of his answer in our students or when classical education is being attacked, when that hard nihilism is turned into an easy relativism. So does Nietzsche have a place in the classical curriculum? Should students be allowed to read Nietzsche? And if we say no, are we depriving them proper guides to his thought? And if we say yes, what might a proper introduction of Nietzsche look like? I am Dr. Joshua Trevino, and this summer, a course titled Nietzsche as Educator, I would like to explore these and similar questions with you regarding Nietzsche's thought and the moral and practical quandary his often immoral thinking presents to the classical educator. I hope you will join me this summer, and I look forward to it. All the best.